Hey guys, Jason the X for SNS Live, powered by Cinelinks.com, and here... Okay, I forgot to do the action figure review this week. Okay, I forgot. There, I said it. Anyway, this is the figure review of the Star Wars The Black Series number 10 Obi-Wan Kenobi figure. And yes, this is uh, Obi-Wan from episode 3. And uh, not a bad figure, but honestly, not really a stellar figure either. But we'll take a look at it in a sec. Let's get this out of the way. So yeah. We got the packaging here, Star Wars The Black Series, not much to there, the number 10 Obi-Wan. Of course his casemates are Luke and Bespin gear, and there's a look at the bio. And a Stormtrooper that I have yet to find, anyway. So yeah, nice image of Obi-Wan there. Anyway, let's bring him back in. So basically, uh, I love the uh, Star Wars The Black Series figures. They come with a lot of accessories, a lot of detail, a lot of great stuff. What you see is what you get with Obi-Wan. He comes with his lightsaber. That's it. I mean, there, I, I think a robe could have been included. Maybe even a different head sculpt. Maybe uh, his episode two head sculpt. But hey, that's, you know, whatever. They didn't do it. But anyway, not a great figure. I gotta say, he's just not exciting at all. His head just kind of looks kind of puny. Is it just me or it just looks kind of small? Uh, maybe not from the side so much, but it looks like it has a real skinny head. Maybe I need to go look at Ewan McGregor uh, and check out his mug. But anyway, yeah, so you got, uh, and I don't know if you can see it, but he's got that familiar little bump there that's, you know, there. So, just, this is my good sign. Anyway, <laughs> I like how they put the gray and temples on him. Uh, very Obi-Wan Kenobi-ish, not... Uh, not too bad with this figure. I mean, what? Do, I mean, I guess. What are you gonna expect from this guy? Not much. He's actually got the cloth tunic underneath and around the back. I, I do like the folds on the uh, actual the pants. Uh, the paint seems a little bit sloppy around here, especially since they put it right here on the pin joint. But uh, not too bad. I mean, what else are you gonna get with Obi Wan? There's a couple of paint flecks there. So, yeah. Uh, good looking Jedi belt. I'm just trying to find things about this guy. If you notice, he has a small hole here. Well, that corresponds to his accessory. So yeah, we've got his lightsaber here. Not too bad. I love the lightsabers in these lines. Uh, this blue is really pale. Really, uh, a lot paler than, uh, than the lightsaber that came with X-Wing Luke. So, and you can just pop that right out. Just goes into that little pin. And you can take the lightsaber and pin it right into his belt with... It's hard to do, like, looking at the camera. So, there we go. And it just pins in right there. So, yeah, I mean, Obi-Wan, he's a great addition, but is he that exciting? Not really. Articulation-wise, he does have uh, ankle tilts. And that nice joint that I love so much. Double jointed knees. Uh, you've got that ball joint that's on all the characters. Uh, his actually will get, you know, some nice, decent kicking poses. Got some, not waist articulation, but you've got actual a ball joint here. And he's got like this flap of fab, well, the plastic that kind of goes over a rounded point. So you can get some pretty decent, uh, decent poses. The only thing is, uh, well, we get up here. I'm going to start down here. Of course, he does have, uh, wrist swivels that'll tilt as well, single jointed arms, and a ball joint up here. Now here's where the problem comes in, because I like to pose these guys a lot of different lightsaber uh, poses, like they're fighting, but he's got like this ridge on the inside that when you, well there goes that, you try to bring the arms in, that's it. As you can see, and it's actually flexible here, but that's as far as you're going to get the arms in, so good luck. I mean, you can get them in some two-handed poses, but it's really a pain in the butt to do. So, yeah. And he does nice uh, ratchet joints, like that soft ratchet, but he has some harder ratchets in his shoulders. And, of course, you got a ball-jointed head, but it can only get about that far. And at this point, actually, no, he does, I'm sorry, uh, he does have a joint back here on a ball joint. So, yeah, there's his tilt up and down. And, of course, that's on a ball joint. Yeah, we'll go ahead and pin that lightsaber back in there. So, yeah, um, I'm a completionist. What can I say? This figure would have had to really be horrible for me not to pick it up. Plus, it is Obi-Wan. It's still a cool figure. There's just not a lot going on with this guy as compared to some of the other figures from the Black Series. 
But anyway, I'm Jason the X for SNS Live. Go ahead and like this video. Subscribe. Check out the show on Thursday. And until next time, guys, I'll catch you later.